Welcome to your daily dose of Danny. I am Danielle Rocco. And what happens when you pick and choose your values? Or when it's convenient for you and when it's not convenient for you to stand by them? So this is what that looks like. Have you heard this? Well, he's a really, I was talking about this with my friend, Megan, uh, who I just finished my podcast, so you will hear her on the Next Level You podcast. And we were chatting because we're doing an event in San Diego with a group of uh, women, actually. We're gonna focus in, in the military, so if you are not in the military or um, have a spouse in the military, you won't get to take part in it until we branch out to the other communities. But I, re I regress back to what I was saying. So these are the statements that happens. I really like this, I really like him, he's my buddy, he's so cool. Yeah, I know he cheats on his wife, but I have so much other stuff in common with him. Or, he's a great dad even though he doesn't pay child support. Or, I know, oh, oh yeah, Richard, I'm gonna be in San Diego, September. Well, actually, yeah, September, September 21st. September 21st, I'm gonna be in San Diego for a whole week because then after that is my book red carpet um, event. So I'll be there so we can get together. Oh, this is one about your husband. Have you heard this one? Well, I know he, you know, flirts and um, I know he's probably cheated on me, but you know, he really supports me. When you hear your friends say this, when you hear me say this kind of talking, aren't you like, what the heck? Get out. Why are you, why are you still in this relationship? Why are you still hanging out with them? It's so simple, right? But we do it to ourselves all the time because we don't create crazy justifications. Yes. We don't create mission statements. We don't create our values. We don't talk about them. Like Megan talks about values in her books and in her coaching and her, in her steps. I talk about creating a mission statement. It's all the same thing. A business has a mission statement. A business has values that during the hard times, it keeps you focused. When you don't do it within yourself, you let those excuses that I just talked about come and you justify them. And then you feel stuck and then you feel worthless. And then you go into this spiral and all of a sudden you're not living your dreams. And all of a sudden you look around and the people that you have surrounded yourself with are not the people that are lifting you up. You create your own gunk that you choose to live in by justifying not, and making excuses for the bad behavior. If you have a friend who you were constantly contacting and they never contact you, what kind of friend is that? If you're giving 100% and every once in a while they say to you something great that makes you stick around, but then you find they never call. They don't return your text messages unless it's a response to you. Is that the friend that you want? Is that the person you want in your life? Are they bringing you up? Do you feel good? Probably no. Actually, I know no. Because everyone I talk to about a situation like that or it comes to me with a situation like that doesn't feel good about it. They feel icky, they feel worthless, they feel like they're not valued. So these are the things that happen when you pick and choose your values. When you understand who you are and you stand true, and even if that means you write it down, you write your mission statement and you constantly look at it to remind yourself of it, you will eventually start to turn the page. Richard, you're gonna have to tell me what two text rule means. Oh, like if you text twice and they don't text you back, I don't know. You're going to have to, you got to speak up because I don't know what that means. Two text rule could mean something totally different than that. So just say, look, look around. My eyes got really open to, to, um, situations of like, whoa, if I'm putting in a hundred percent and they're putting in 30% and then sometimes you can be the one that always reaches out. Oh, I got it right. 
you can be always the one that reaches out and then they can complain to you that they feel like you use them and that, you know, you're not being there enough for them. And you're like, whoa, are we on the same page? So these are all things that, you know, I've thought of, that um, my friends have thought of, that we've talked about, and I feel it needs to be brought up. Know what you stand for. Know who you are. And is your life and the people in it aligning and doing the same thing? Are they on that same path? And doesn't mean you're they're right and you're wrong. It just means that you are not on that same energetic level. And to create your abundance, to create that fulfillment in your life, to find that purpose and live in it, you need people that are running alongside you, not that are constantly running into you. And I will see you on the other side.